Differentiate question one, x to the power four minus nine over x squared plus three. The x to the power four minus nine has something very common to difference of two squares. So if I say let u equals x squared, therefore, if I square u, I will square that. So u squared will be x squared all squared. If I apply law of indices that says b n all to power of n, m equals b n m. Therefore, u squared equals x to the power 4, 2 times 2, 4. So now I've got y equals u squared minus 9 over u plus 3. If I simplify this, that means if I factorize this, I can now see difference of 2 squared equals u plus 3 and u minus 3. So that's the difference of 2 squared over u plus 3. So I can see here that u plus 3 cancels u plus 3. Now I've got y equals just u minus 3, which equals x squared minus 3. So if I differentiate that, the y over the x will be applying the x n is 2. So 2 x to 2 minus 1. So that would be 2 x. You don't have to do it that way. You can do it any way you see fit. You don't have to do it that way. You could have seen that that's x squared times x squared. And that's x squared here as well. But if you remember difference of two squares, you know that, uh, well, these, this one here, u squared minus 9, can be written as u plus 3 times u minus 3. So these are two factors that, this is a quadratic where the b is gone. You only have the a and the c. It's just recognizing that that matters. If you can recognize that, then, then you could do it. But you don't have to so let u equals to that. You could just say it, uh, that's x squared minus 3, x squared plus 3. So you could have done that. And that would be quicker. Use any method you see fit. Question 2. x to the power 3 is a common factor. So I get x squared minus 16 over, over x plus 4. Now I can see difference of two squares here. So if I simplify these, it will be x cubed into factor x minus 4 times x plus 4 divided by x plus 4. x plus 4 cancels x plus 4. Only have x cubed times x minus 4. And if I expand that, I get x to the power 4. x cubed times x is x to the power 4 minus 4x cubed. So that's y. So that's been simplified from there to there. Now you can find the y dx. The y dx will be applying that as 4. So 4, bring 4 times 1, that's 4 x to 4 minus 1, that would be 3, minus, that's 3 for the n, so 3 times 4, that's 12, 3 minus 1, that's x squared. And so your dy dx, that. So question 3 is a bit challenging because you have 4 minus x over 2 plus root x. This root x is actually is giving me a clue with, with the 4 that I can create difference of two squares from the top. From the top here, I could have 4 minus x, which is 2 
plus root x and that can be 2 because it's minus I can turn that into 2 squared minus well because it I can turn it into root of x and if we square it I will still get x so root of x remember in maths the root of x is basically x to power a half right and if I square that that means I will be squaring that and that would give x 2 over 2 so I get basically x back so that would just be x because if I square root x that's why you always square when you have a root something in order to get that something you square it and I get this x back so so that means if I root it and I square it I get the x back so if you can see that that's good and then you can see I have a root at the bottom now so so I get 2 plus root of x so now this is the difference of two squares this was x squared minus 4 squared that's why you get x minus 4 x plus 4 because that's a square so difference of two squares if you have a squared minus b squared you always get a plus b times a minus b so that's difference of two squares so i've got a squared minus b squared the a let's see that's two so that's two plus my b is root x root of x times two minus root of x you divide that by two plus root of x now we can see that the plus cancel plus y equals two minus root of x which equals two minus x to power a half if you differentiate a constant remember a constant has its variable it's x to power zero so if you differentiate the constant zero times two will be zero so that will automatically disappear so the y the x will be x to power zero is one right x to power zero equals one two times one is two so now uh, if you're differentiating that that would be zero times two that's zero so that disappeared and then you have minus this is a half times one so that's minus a half a half minus one is x to the power minus a half that would be minus one over well that would be uh two there's two at the bottom there right root of x why is it root of x because that would be uh well we know that x to the power minus a half is one over x to the power a half a half means square root that's one over root that's one over root x so therefore dy dx equals minus 1 over 2 root x.